Hi, thanks for joining me for another edition of the Bell Performance video blog. I am Eric Bjornstad with Bell Performance. Today, uh, we're going to talk about what you need to know about ethanol fuel additives for boats. Uh, if you have a gas-powered boat, uh, you are probably very well familiar with the problems that ethanol fuel causes in the marine environment. And so, you're probably even more amenable to most to wanting to use a good fuel additive. Okay, and for that, we say that's very good thinking. But there are a number of ethanol fuel additive, additives excuse me, out there. Uh, and while we're not going to tell you to go run out and buy bells, uh, we are going to give you a few things to look for. There are two things that you want to keep in mind. You know, everybody says that their stuff's the best. Of course, you know, we recognize that. We've been in the industry for like 104 years. So, you know, we, we, we know the kind of things that people say, you know. Um, in order to help you cut through all the, the white noise, so to speak, here are a couple things that you should keep in mind when you're selecting an ethanol uh, additive for your boat, okay? The first thing you have to keep in mind is what is it claiming to do, especially when it has to do with mileage. Um, there is no fuel additive out there that is going to guarantee that you're going to get 25% better mileage or 30% better mileage. There's no magnet that you could put on your fuel tank that's going to align the molecules of the fuel and make it flow better through your fuel system. Um, a reasonable expectation is, uh, you know, 8 to 12%, uh, you know, and even if you were to get like 6% better mileage with the way that gas, with how, how expensive gas is nowadays, a 6% mileage increase or a 5% mileage increase would way recover any cost that you would have in uh, of treating that fuel. Uh, so w what we're saying here is uh, watch out for unreasonable claims. If something claims or makes a claim that seems too good to be true, then it probably is, then there's a very good likelihood that they are going to take your money and leave you unsatisfied. Um, the second thing is has to do with the phase separation. Now, uh, you're probably well familiar with the fact that ethanol, especially in marine environments, absorbs all that water, and once it reaches the point of no return, so to speak, typically like a half percent in volume, it's going to start breaking apart. Okay, Boat owners are more familiar with this than most. Um, there are some fuel, ethanol fuel additives that will claim to reverse uh, phase separation. Now, most of them, at least any, most of the, the ones that are any good, We'll, we'll talk about how they can uh, keep phase separation from, ha from happening. And some of those are better than most. Uh, you know, we formulated ethanol defense to be better at doing that than some of the other formulations out there. But once, you know, the, those kind of fuel additives are preventive ones, just like fuel stabilizers are preventive ones. You know, you put a f diesel fuel stabilizer into a storage tank, you're trying to prevent it, the fuel from darkening and stratifying. Uh, you put an ethanol fuel additive uh, in your, your, your stored ethanol fuel, you're trying to prevent phase separation. But what happens if phase separation has already happened? Well, you do not want to go and buy a fuel additive that will claim to put it back together. If something claims to do that, it's a very good indication that, uh, again, they're just trying to take your money and it's not going to do what you expect it to do. So just a couple of quick, easy things to keep in mind as you're trying to make the best educated decision on an ethanol fuel additive for your boat. So thanks for joining me today with the Bell Performance Video Blog. I am Eric Bjornstad. And if you want more information about this, we have a lot of great uh, uh, resources uh, having to do with ethanol fuels and also on uh, boat fuel issues. Uh, you can find those at bellperformance.com. You can also find those at wefixfuel.com. So thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.